Hey guys, it's Dima from Demos Tech, and today we're checking the Android P Developer Preview 4 or Beta 3. Before we begin, I just want to remind you that soon there will be the first giveaway on Demos Tech, so stay tuned, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell so you will receive notifications on future videos. So right away, you can notice here that there are new icons. So there are pretty much new icons almost everywhere. I mean, the back icon is new, especially the media. If you'll actually, for example, turn on the volume, as you can see, it has a different icon as well. Even the settings, let me go here for a moment. As you can see, the settings, the edit button, all those icons are totally new. They have been redesigned and I think it's kind of cool. It looks different. Both for good and both for bad. Some icons are pretty much the same, but for example, the flashlight looks really new, really cool. The auto rotate, uh, actually, you know what? If I'll try to use the auto rotate, and if you can see here, that flashing icon is new as well. So that's kind of cool. And in addition, finally, after so many years, and I think. No one ever done it, no no, no. yeah, Windows probably, I think Windows already has it, yeah, Windows has it, but Android finally did it, there is a dark mode that you finally can switch on. Sadly, it's not perfect yet, it doesn't switch all the colors on the settings, but if you'll go to the settings, to display, to advanced, and go to the bottom to device theme, you can use the automatic that was already on. If you have a dark wallpaper, it will switch automatically to dark. Or if you use a light wallpaper, it will go to light. But now you can choose the dark. And if you choose the dark, and you go here, as you can see, everything in dark mode. So, there are many people that love it. I personally don't care. Also, if you'll go to your applications, you'll see that it's dark as well. Now again, sadly, the settings are totally regular. Nothing has been changed here. That doesn't change to dark mode currently. So what else is new? The navigation bar. So if we'll go here and we'll start to move, as you can see here, the bar at the bottom is all the way. So we can switch to both sides. And I don't know, it's kind of more intuitive. So for example, let's say I want to stay on the settings. If I'll just leave it. It goes on, you don't have to actually press it or anything, or I don't know, move it again or anything. It's more convenient, it's kind of easier to navigate. I like it a little bit more because in the past you could only move it to one side sort of here, and you couldn't do it to the other side, if you'd like. And if you have many icons, so it's kind of more comfortable. One thing that I do notice right now, in the previous version, if I would go all the way here, and hold it, it will automatically go through the windows without any stop. It doesn't do it anymore. Uh, for me, it's kinda... I would say it's good. I mean, I prefer it that way, actually. But your decision might vary, so maybe you prefer it to go all the way around, like non-stop. Um, you can tell me in the comments what do you prefer. Uh, sadly, we will not impact Google, probably, but it will be cool to know what do you think about that. If we are talking about volume, and let's go to the whole sound system here, we have finally a specific volume rocker for the call volume. Okay, for some reason it trained my alarm clock when I actually tried to navigate it. At least I think it was my alarm clock. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anyway, what we are talking about is the internal speaker. When you are during a call, you can finally control it ahead that it won't blow your ears or vice versa that you'll actually hear the person if you prefer the highest volume, for example, like me. Now, believe it or not, this is it. We didn't find anything else new. Anything. Only one thing that I do have a comment. They broke Bluetooth. They totally broke it. It works. I mean, I use my, if you remember, the Bose QC30, and I really love them, they work well, but they did break it. What do I mean by break it? I can listen to music, and sometimes during the music, it will just disconnect from the headphones and sort of reconnect immediately or something, but you do have to press play again most of the times. It happened to me about twice, 
and the headset was close enough to the phone, so it shouldn't happen. It never happened actually before, so I have no idea. They broke that one. Another thing, the media keys. So I have some media keys on my headphones, which I can use to play pause, play the next song, previous song. It doesn't work anymore. Only on this version. I have no idea why. I didn't have a chance to try any other headphones, but I kind of believe that it will happen to any headphone as well. And the last, and probably the worst, for some reason the phone is getting super hot when you use Bluetooth. I don't know why, seriously. What happened to you guys? I mean, it kind of reminds me of those old days that you used your Nexus One with GPS and Bluetooth at the same time. It would go hot. But this? I mean, seriously? 2019? It happens? What's wrong with you guys? Well, anyway, I hope Google fixes it as soon as possible. Again, sadly in this version, all those smart features that will tell you when you are using your phone too much or prevent you using it too much and any other cool stuff that they did show in the Google I.O. isn't here as well. And at the current state, I pretty much have a feeling that even in the final Android P version, we still won't see those features. They'll probably be added later on and not to the final version itself. So sadly, I must say, though it works, it's still not perfect. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.